Hey, welcome to Jack's Treasures, where we're always looking for the Meow Factor. I'm Brian. I'm Tracy. And we haven't done this in a while because <laughs> we went through December vlogness and messed that up like two days or three days before the end of vlogness. And we ended up just stopping at that point. As most all of you know, um, we were on a buying freeze all through January. Well, we messed that up too. Okay, why? Because Tracy had a feeling. Okay, today is Saturday. Okay, let me just say, I don't know how everyone else feels about feelings and premonitions and things like that, but I, I believe a little bit in them. Yeah, she, and, and so far her feelings have been really, really good. I was sitting at home last night and something told me that I was supposed to buy a storage unit today on a Saturday. Now, you probably don't know storage units like I know storage units, but there aren't storage units on Saturdays normally. Normally there will be three or four storage units on a Saturday. So I was like, well, why should I even look at storage units on Saturday? Well, okay. So I went and I looked at storage units on Saturday. There were like a hundred of them in public storage. I was like, okay. So I was obviously supposed to <laughs> look at storage units on Saturday. And so I'm, I'm looking at them, I'm looking at them. And then I look at this one and then something told me this is the one. And I'm looking at it and I'm seeing some things in it that I like. The first thing that jumped at me was this awesome dragon kite. Well, how about more than one? That and looks like now six. that I see, there are definitely more than one. These will sell in the booth. Then I saw these Nightmare Before Christmas things, which I know Nightmare Before Christmas stuff sells. Then I noticed... I love this. Okay. Then I noticed. I gotta show you that. Oh. Look at on the top. <gasps> Holy cow! Look at that. That's sealed. Yeah. Little shop of horrors. Almost all of them are. Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. But. I love that. Iron Maiden, but this is the next thing I it saw broke. was this KitchenAid stuff here. And I was like, well, you know what? KitchenAid stuff definitely sells, especially a stand mixer. This stand mixer is going to basically pay for the unit. You know why? Do you know what we pay for this unit? Tell, tell the people what we okay. pay for this unit. Um, I'll let you know this. We maxed out at the unit at 700. It That's what we were going to pay. By 20, and so we normally might have paid more than that for it, but we didn't need a unit. Right. We didn't want a unit. Right. So we bid yesterday because Storage Treasures was having some issues and it would like booch off the site and everything like that. So I said, go ahead and bid 390 and then we'll look at it in the morning and we'll up our bid if we needed to. Well, we became the high bidder yesterday at 220 And I said, oh, well, that's good. We'll probably get it around what we're thinking, maybe $400. So we got up this morning. It was 220 And it had about two hours left. So we went and kept looking at it. And it kept never going up. And we ended up winning it at $220. $500 less than what we were going to pay for it. Yes. So... And we bought it on a feeling. A and feeling. Both of us have I haven't the even same. been looking at storage units. Haven't even been looking at them. But, but I had a feeling. Thought might be in the unit too. Were collectibles. And look at this. We've got sports cards, sealed hockey cards, sealed, sealed in the pack. Sealed other cards too, right there. Others here. I just sold one of those. For Miller Obviously, Light. hockey is the thing. All right, we saw these boxes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We could see of these that boxes. this and one we saw said, it said books on that one. All right, let's see what kind of books they have. They have <gasps> great books. Oh my gosh, they're they like have exactly what we are looking oh for right gosh. here. These books right here were are probably about maybe eight hundred dollars. Same oh, things. Just my <laughs> yes, these are fiction books, but these are Brian. Yeah. This isn't books. What is it? Right. Come here. Look at this. 
Oh, it's Star Wars memorabilia. It's Star Wars vans. Oh, please be in there. Please be in there. Be in there it's now. not. But that is cool. Um, that might be better than Star Wars vans. It's a little Ewok. Thing. I don't know what that is. Oh my god. It's, it's a little dragon yeah. guy. Well, put the little dragon and guy up I hope the Star Wars vans are still here somewhere. Okay, look at what you're looking at, too. Video um, game. Oh my god. Okay, now Brian. Okay, I just want you to say how do you feel about Tracy's feelings right now? I, I said it last time that I <laughs> love your feelings. I just hated when you had your feelings. Oh my god. Literally, this is a Saturday evening post. That is so cool. Pitch uh blanket. Um there's something brand new right here, baby. Uh, glasses. This is stuff by this is, this is a look big at this big bubble wrap. This is the All big bubble right, There's the two file cat or two uh, bookshelves right here. What is this? This is a dresser. Okay, it's beautiful. It's I think. Unfortunately, it's really dark in here. It's very hard for us to see. Look at this thing. Party lamp. Party lamp. What is this? It's a file box. Okay. Let's see what's in the file box. It's not a file it's, box. Oh, it's not. It's a chainsaw. Oh, okay. And it looks brand new. <laughs> That's nice. And it's more And too. I don't know how the, uh, my light. Pier one. I don't have a light. I, I was hoping the flash would work, but it flashes not seem uh, to work. But okay. Let me see the phone. Okay. All right, you guys got to see this. I hope you can see it very good. Look at this stuff right in here. This what is, is plush, Disney plush. Oh my gosh. There's Eeyore, new with the tags. Another Eeyore. All right, here's a red dog. This is, these are brand new with the tags. There's a hockey thing right there. Oh God, black label scotch bottle. Oh, Tracy. <gasps> it's a kitty. It's a kitty cat. And now as you guys all know, the name of our store is Jack's Treasures because of Jack our cat. And this place is just packed. Look at this full stuff in here. Of boxes. Boxes, boxes. And there's Halloween stuff everywhere too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this guy was a Detroit Red Wings fan, obviously, because okay. here's a big oh, metal cool. plate. I think okay. that's one Tubs of those teams that there. people from all over like, don't they? Because I've actually heard of them. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you this back okay. because I want to see this. This is upside down. Looks like maybe a backgammon so set or something. Let's go back out so we can... We can take a look at what it is. My guess is going to be a Ouija board Ooh. based on everything that I've seen. Yeah, I could see that. And there's a box over there that says CDs on it. No. Okay. Gold and silver wire craft. It's like a crafting jewelry type yeah. set. With little carpet things on there. That's something that'll definitely sell in the booth. This is full of plush. There was plush back there in that trunk that we saw. Let's see what kind of... See oh, this? yeah, good one, too. Wow. Yeah. Another piece of furniture right there. Another piece of furniture there. Piece of furniture here. All right. Well, I, I got to get to loading. Right. Uh, so we will come back. We'll probably add to this video a little bit later. Um, we've got a good couple of days of work ahead of us. We got at least one day of work um, today. But, oh, this is something else we saw in the picture was the spider just hanging out up there. I didn't even see I saw spider. him and he, I thought it was cool. <gasps> World of Warcraft. Yeah. World of Warcraft stuff. Oh my god. I love it. Best 
best unit ever. That's sealed. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. This is exactly what we, th we thought it was. And Tracy had a feeling. And as much as I despise buying a unit, because I really did put a moratorium on us not buying units and stuff like that, we bought this one. And now it's just like every box we've gone through so far. Yes. That's our guy. That is our guy. This is the guy from <gasps> NCI. Yes. Okay, y'all can't see this right now, but Tracy's literally jumping up and down. Well, every for... box we open is stuff that I love. It's like literally everything I love. <laughs> yeah. It's like World of Warcraft or NCI has um, Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer. Nightmare Before Christmas. It's like this person Cards, is me. They, these books are all books I would read. <laughs> I know. We're gonna use this. Did did we did we literally buy my own unit? <laughs> I don't know, but now I just I want to just keep going through the damn boxes and I just get them out of here. This says P H J. Oh. What would P H J stand for? It's not making any sound. Oh. <laughs> It, it's got a battery pack. I was okay. hoping it was a squeezy right. one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You're gonna get really excited. Oh, am I? Oh yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> Brand new. Oh my god! <laughs> this box will pay for the unit. There's another one. Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> some collector plates, license tags, oh my God. tarot cards, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I got to pull this one out. Oh, I can't. Okay. But, okay, this one right here, that item right there might pay for the unit itself. It is a Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a Halloween thing. Oh, well, like a Halloween town thing. Spook town, yep. Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna we're, we're making money. We're gonna pause. We will come back later and tell you if we find anything else amazing. Yeah. Just keep tuned. Uh, this is <laughs> this is why we do it. This is and the meal how factor. this unit went for as cheap as it did. I'm be baffled how it could possibly go that low. Well. We'll be back. So Hey, we're in the car heading back to the house. As you can tell, it's uh, very, very stuffed in the car. We did load the entire back I can't back even seat. show the back of the truck. <laughs> and the back of the truck is completely full, too. Um, this is just an amazing unit. It was a collector unit. This is exactly what we've been looking for. These are the types of units that you, you can buy, and this one will pay for your entire year. Um, it, it will for us. We'll buy more units, but we're gonna get through this one. Um, we're gonna get this stuff up on the on the eBay. Ninety percent of the stuff that's in this unit is gonna go straight up on eBay. Yes, it's all it will. brand new in the package. Even the plush has the has the tags on it. It's so easy to look up. Um, lots of really really cool stuff, and it was all purchased based on a feeling, but. It was more than just a feeling. She had a feeling that there was a good unit up. So that's why she she looked. But then when we looked at the unit, I literally, she sent it to me. I was downstairs. She sent it to me. I walked upstairs and I said, I see, you know, modern culture stuff. And what's in this? Monster High dolls that are brand new in the package. Brand new uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. World really of Warcraft. cool World of Warcraft stuff. Fantasy books. Fantasy books. It's just, it's exactly what we thought it was going to be. <laughs> it doesn't happen every time, but my goodness, it was just, it's amazing. Like it, all this stuff that I love. <laughs> yeah. Tracy. I is, love like fantasy and horror type stuff. And 
it's loaded with that. Yeah, and she's trying to claim everything, and <laughs> I'm having to rein her in a little bit. And you guys didn't see the parts on the video. You'll probably see it when the video goes up and down like this. That's her jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> when she saw Bert the the hippopotamus from NCIS. Yes. Or which she is one of my see, favorite shows. <laughs> yeah. Or she would see this other character and she pulled out two plushies and she said, These are from World of Warcraft and they're a hundred dollars a piece. I think. I know I think a lot of the World of Warcraft plushies go for about a hundred dollars and those looked very um definitely unique. And I good. I had a terrible uh, connection over it. Um the storage facility. Brian tried to call me once when I was in in there, and because he needed help getting back in, and I, I didn't get it. And our um, so place, the <laughs> storage facility. No, the uh, treasure hunt tried to call me, and I didn't get their call either, and I had to call them back. And so our our connection was just terrible. Yeah, and it's this is just going to be a great unit to go through. A very easy to use unit to get through there is a heck of a lot more furniture than I anticipated but that's fine a lot of that's gonna go straight into the booth it's quality stuff oh god yeah it's, it's really really nice stuff and there's a huge trunk that you guys didn't see uh, because it was all the way in the back and it's probably about maybe five foot tall oh long and about three foot high and about three foot deep we will do an opening a video of opening that. Yeah, I think that, that's worthy. It, it was of amazing. A opening that. I don't. I don't know what's in it. I'm. I'm hoping maybe musical instruments type things because yeah. I know. I had a guess that there might be some musical things in this unit based on a box I saw, and that being a huge trunk, there could be musical type things in there. It's one of the benefits when you buy storage units online is you get to look at the stuff a lot more in depth than you can live. Live, you can look at it for about five minutes and you then have you're going to sell it. This one, you can look it up and then look up the stuff mm -hmm. online and literally see how much everything is worth as long as that's what's in it. She bought this because it's got a, a mixer in it. Yep. Well, if that mixer wasn't in it, okay, yeah, you, you're you're taking a gamble. But the mixer was in it, and it's brand new. That's two hundred bucks. We spent two hundred and twenty on the unit. You know, yep. so I mean, we, you were were able to do the research and look at those boxes and zoom in as much as you can, and um, do research. I mean, it's so easy to do with the cell phones nowadays, and now on computers and everything on on. Um, on the online basically it is much much easier i will to say the benefit units. to live auctions is you can smell the unit mm -hmm. you can um especially when you're dealing with any kind of plush furniture like couches and bedding and things like that you can smell was there a smoker did they have pets things like yeah, that you could definitely we have gotten like bitten on getting a smoker's unit or someone who had a dog smells and things like that when we bought online before. We did buy a unit that was live that did smell, had a had a smell to it, but it had, I only paid, I think, 10 or $20 for yeah. the unit. And um, I, still I knew that what was, I knew, out of it. yeah, I knew what I was getting out of the unit and, and so it was fine. But um, online, you can look at it for so long. I mean, these units are up for 5, 10, 20 days and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's so easy to, look at them but the downsides to it prices of the units go up sometimes <laughs> uh, obviously not this one uh so if i were you i would definitely buy a storage unit on a saturday because yeah. obviously that's the best day to buy a storage unit there is no absolutely no reason this unit should not go for under 500 dollars mm -hmm. just by what was seen in the unit us knowing what's in the unit right now we were more than willing to pay up to two thousand dollars if we yeah if we would have known what was in the unit we would have paid much 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 more but uh, i'm easily definitely glad we got it for what we did we got a beautiful day here it in is Georgia. Be it's cold, it is cold it's but it's degrees, but it's sunny it's a great day for doing this yep and i'm just gonna go home and drink some coffee and warm up but we got an awesome unit we're gonna keep working on it i'm gonna do another load today I want to get to be where it'll be one load tomorrow with the trailer. Sounds and good. I'll be able to do that as long as I can get another load and most of the boxes again out today. Yep. Which is what my goal is um, to do that. So, All right. Uh, we will be 
back a little bit later. Uh, maybe Tracy will even take a video of some of the stuff that she's found. Yep. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, we're back. We're at our house, which at one time was getting empty. And now... <laughs> This is the section that we did today as Oops. Tracy tries to set fire to the house. <laughs> I have a heater going because it's freezing inside and I had to have the door open. Um, these, um, up here on top, those, we went through those at the unit. These are the, some of the dolls from uh, Monster High, I think. I've so got a few of them out of the box over here because that box was damaged. But as you can see, new in the most of them are new in the box. One of them's out of the box, but okay. uh, tons of Monster High dolls. We got a couple of stuff that we wanted to show you from this unit. There's the KitchenAid uh, mixer Kitchen that Aid is in there. Uh, stand. It's brand new, Oops. and it has stand the, mixer. and it has the meat grinder meat grinder attachment that attachment that goes I'm with put it. Put that on Facebook Marketplace. Yep. Somebody wants that. Yeah, so if you want it, let us know. Emerald Lagasse Deep Fryer. I haven't actually looked that up yet, but... Yeah, but that's also brand, brand new. new in the package. Yep. You know, there is a, a light portfolio, fixture. That'll um, probably go in the boot. Chandelier. Again, brand new in the box. Brand new in the box. Little Halloween decor. Bath decor from Pier 1 Imports. Probably wind up saving those for Halloween and putting them in the booth unless so. there's value to put them on eBay. Unfortunately, just the size of them, they're going to be oversized to ship. So there has to be some significant value to be worth uh, our time. Here's one of the <laughs> Halloween decor that Tracy got. That um, I that attracted thing. me to the unit. Yeah. And this was some of the dolls that we had gotten in the unit. And Monster, Monster High, High is a doll series that we know sells really well on eBay. It's actually right. something we look for at yard sales. Uh, yep. They do a lot better than Barbie dolls do. And what did you say that years were these? Um, they're 2014. 2014. So, I mean, these are, are good. I mean, here's another one here. I mean, I haven't looked them up another yet, but I'm going to just one. go out on a limb and guess that we're probably looking at maybe $30 to $40 another a doll one. new in the box would so, be my would be my estimate. And it's not only that, but these boxes are in really good condition. Um, sometimes yes. we'll get some some stuff and the boxes are really not bad. in good condition. Like the Star Wars unit, the boxes yeah. on those, or Star yeah, Trek unit, rather. really good. Uh, there's some more there. A couple of that some of the, the doll sets or the clothing sets, which sometimes those do better than the dolls because there's less of them made. Yes. Um, and we're going to be going through this stuff this week. That's going to be awesome. Uh, out here, we've got a box that... We're going to go through on camera because it was leaking. And we know we need to go through it tonight and take care At of it. The sump box was leaking because something leaked on um, we not only in my truck right it. there... You could say, but it leaked on one of the boxes that we have in the... In the, in the and box. we suspected it, that it's this one, so hopefully it's this one, since this is the well, one we... got that one we... box already. Ooh. Okay, first off, that looks cool as crap. Magic Cloth Joy Collection, Kermit Collection Magnet. It's like a paper doll type thing. Yeah, it's got a $10 price tag on it right there. This one will be one that we look up to yep. see what it does. This doesn't Everything look like in anything here, here would be leaking. It doesn't. Unless there's like some like flavored oils or something. Because everything is wrapped. So I guess it could be something what like I'm gonna that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stuff that's like this in there. I'm not, I'm not worried about unwrapping it and stuff. Really good ornament, Christmas ornament and stuff. Unless the, the package looks like it's got some stuff on it. I don't even know what these are, but it's definitely cool. Yeah. Um, Phoenix crystals. I'm actually intrigued by this. I want to see what this is. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, that's super cool. That is really cool. Anything that'll go in the booth. I'm going to have to get you to finish taking that out of the box, but I do want to see what that is on camera. Oh my gosh, it's like a, a dragon's holder, claw or yeah. something. Artology. 1996? 1990. 1990. That's even better. We were thinking that this unit might be a type of a... Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Oh, that is super cool. Yes, it is. That's right up your alley there. Yeah. He loves the like uh, love Asian this stuff. Yeah. type decor. Yeah, that might be going in our house. <laughs> There's something really cool in these, too. Oh, those are just little bowls and stuff. I don't see anything that... Yeah, I don't either. So yeah, that's that not, a good look. not good. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. This is, awesome. this is just a great box. I mean, and we're not even going through it. <laughs> no. We're finding, finding stuff in it that just There's a knife. Cool. Marked. Something cutlery. Yeah. That'd be a cool little little pocket knife. There's another one right here. Is that a throwing knife, maybe? This one? No, this is a hand knife. Oh. You know, palm, like a like, fighting. I think they call it a palm knife. No, it was something for some sort of fighting type thing. You can ask our sensei. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm it's sure Will could tell us exactly what it was. That is a hedgehog. It is a ground hedgehog. Ground means to the ground. Yeah, there was nothing in this tub that was leaking. No, because the bottom is completely dry. Yeah. I have a little enamel like jewelry box. Yeah, Mount Fuji. Yep. <gasps> There's the jewelry. With jewelry. With jewelry. Oh, I'm just going to pick this up and I'm going to do what like, <laughs> they do on store drawers. All right, that's a $20 bill right there. All right, this one's 100 That's 50 Oh, this is marked. This is genuine. Okay, no. That is awesome. Look at that. Yes. A little uh, ceramic uh, leopard. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this this is, is super cool. And my mom has already asked me if I know the history of this unit. I have not um, done any research as to the history of this unit yet. I don't know why um, this unit was lost. What does that say right there? Um, Brad's great granddad's wedding dress. <laughs> uh, I do not think. I guess it's know. beads from it, probably. Might be. Because yeah, I think that first yeah. word it says might beads. be beads. Beads, yeah. great granddad's or grandma's, maybe. Wedding dress. I can't read handwriting. Right, well, this one wasn't leaking. No, so we're gonna have to keep our eye open as we're going through that traffic and figure out what's what was yeah. leaking. All right, uh, but it's cold. We got two more trips tomorrow at least. Yes. Okay, well, two more for sure. I could probably do it in one, but I'd be pushing it with the trailer. And especially and, because we're trying to get some stuff straight into the booth. Yeah, and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna do it in two. Mm -hmm. um, so we will be back again tomorrow. This yes. is uh, public storage on um, basically Keniston off of Keniston Circle. Keniston Circle, which is right off of uh, Cobb Parkway. It's near Keniston in, Hospital. Near Keniston Hospital in Marietta. Uh, great facility. Wonderful girl that works there. Uh, super, super friendly and everything like that. Yes. I think her name is Nadine or Nadia. <laughs> um, I did. I didn't get her name. I wasn't in there. I wasn't. Year. I didn't pay attention that much. I should have paid attention to it because she's <laughs> super cool, super nice. I'm gonna do a shout out to her tomorrow for sure. Once she get her name, yes. Yes. Once I get early her shout out today, but early shout, shout out, out today, tomorrow when we get her name. Full too. one gonna get my tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So I got some more stuff that we need to go, go through because I want to burn, do some burning of some of these boxes that are not in very good shape. Yeah. And y'all make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Have a great 2022. Yes. Okay. And now that we're doing videos again, we'll try to be a little bit more regular. We're sorry we took some time off, but after doing well, that. We were um, supposed to be cleaning out yeah. and everything. And we that were. We were. Doing. Oh, one thing. Go ahead and show that little piece right over there. This is something that we got in a unit in Atlanta. Um, yeah. And it's a bookshelf. And it's a, it's in one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces four pieces are for displaying and then there's a top and the bottom but they all come apart and they're just a great piece i have seen these in so many houses that we have done estate sales with mm -hmm. and finally got one in the storage unit i just we, gotta get it all put together we got that storage unit gosh in september i think yeah. and we've just 
gotten to it and started working on it. So yeah, I just she just punched. Me. I didn't mean to. Okay. I wasn't a. You're gonna see her hopping punch. around because she was <laughs> hopping around earlier, and now she just punched me. And that was that was an accident. All right. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and have yep. a great week. We will be back tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.